Ooh, what is up guys and of course welcome to another PU Wi-Fi battle which is truly the Scarander and yeah today we're going up against Bors and a rather interesting game with that mainly because he's actually bringing really cool stuff that said I'm just gonna say it as it is his team looks very tough versus me we see Electrods Farfetch which is really cool uh, Sea Rattle and Palo Sand Magmortar and Yursering now front get go here yeah Earthring look to be the part here. It's definitely a sweepable able Pokemon if it is a gut set. Basically, he gets stick web up. I'm gonna have a rough time and I'm gonna have a hard time dealing with his team. Now, my team is a follow Sea uh, Toy tomorrow, Shinotic, Golem, uh, Bulky Variant, Shift Tree with Defog, Life Orb, Shea Force, Kingler, and Girder with the standard set of being special defensive with Bulk Up. So, from the get-go, if one thing stands out for me, it is that I need to do everything in my power to kind of avoid my opponent from getting up Sticky Web. And if it gets Sticky Web, I really, really need to ensure that, um, well, I can defund with Shift 3. Other than that, I felt that his strongest leader versus me would be the Electros, mainly because it was either that or his Sea Rattle. Both of them do really well against my obvious lead, which is going to be clear to Golem. And yeah, we're basically gonna take the game from there. So with that said, I'm gonna lead off, like I said, with my token tomorrow, and we're gonna hope for the best. With that said, let's go into the match. So from the get-go here, I do get my prediction kind of right. He starts off with his Electros as I start off with my huge, huge token tomorrow. And you know, it clearly can go for flamethrower here. And this was a really ideal set so that's gain rain also to be able to deal with the golem. So with that in mind, I'm going to go over U-turn and I'm going to do a rather predictable play. Going actually to my golem, predicting as stated here already, the flamethrower. So I should naturally outspeed his Pokemon. I shouldn't necessarily worry about it, but at the same time, I don't want to lose my Calyx really too early either. So I decide to actually force myself out, basically getting a bit of a more lead. We're here, I'm going to bring in Pennywise, of course, the shift tree. Yes. At this point, I do realize here that it's not offensive. It's especially not offensive, it's definitely a bulkier variant. So I can easily go for knockoff, hoping to be able to knock it out. I don't do that, which is unfortunate. But what is more unfortunate is the flamethrower actually is enough to KO. And you know that's a big mistake on my side because that means that my early prediction about stick web and whatnot really is a very likely position to be pushed to. Now I'm gonna go off with of course my huge toy tomorrow and go for poison jab, knock out the electrons, we are five for five. But as stated, Stickweb is a real bitch. Uh, he's gonna bring in Cube Sick, which is the Palo Sand, and I, I don't have anything for this. Now we'll go for U-turn. Basically, I find it hard, very unlikely that he has a Rocky Helmet, so I get a bit of a ship, I guess, as I bring in Calyx, and uh, I'm predicting the Stealth Rock. Uh, I don't mind the Stealth Rock. Hell, I, I enjoy them. I don't, I'm not necessarily weak to Stealth Rocks. I, I think my opponent here is the one that suffers for Stealth Rocks. With that in mind, I'm gonna actually set up my own. I thought this was my honest chance of doing so, since the only possible defogger he has is Farfetch, and I found it very unlikely for him to be so. Now he goes for her power, he does a huge chunk, give it one special defensive, it still hurts. And um, I'm actually gonna do a bit of a sack play here, going for Toxic Basically get residual damage going on on Pelosan. Since Pelosan is so annoying to be forced to be dealing with, I kind of get that, you know, the, the residual damage on Pelosan is very, very important. And he was predicting something like that, you know, hoping he'd bring in your ring. So really glad he stayed in, actually get that play kind of wrong, I guess. Though I do a bit of a misplay myself, predicting him to switch out. I'll go directly here from the agility. Knowing that, of course, the liquidation Shea Force boost is going to knock out Pelosan into their wake, he likely decides to stay in and go for another part. While I do survive it, I also put myself in range where first impression from the Farfetch is enough to take me out. Now, I am happy liquidation is a huge move here for Kingler, and it definitely opens up the game and get rid of uh, the Pelosan. But yeah, play that card a bit early, fearing, of course, the Eurus Ring, and uh, this definitely played to my opponent's uh, favor as he go for that very, very, very easy first impression. However, Togo Demaro is kinda defensive. I mean, it's, it's typing is defensive enough to pull this off, and I can easily here go for an offensive move of so desire, and well, I kinda did, as I do believe I went for a Sing Sap here. Now, I was sure this was a Guts, 
So our head was badly mistaken when we see Toxic Orb. This is quick feed people. This means that well, we went from bad to worse because I don't necessarily deal with this Pokemon that well either. As it goes to close combat, the Kingler needs to be sacked. Kinda glad I sacked it when it came to this, if anything. And I'm gonna bring in my Gerda, if I remember correctly. Basically forcing him out with a Mag Punch. No, I went for Cumberdale. How about that? Um, since, yeah, I was reasoning since it wasn't Guts, I didn't necessarily feel off a sword in the first place. I think it went for strong, uh, for a very, very strange play here. I go for Strength Sap. And I mean that it's strange because I could definitely have forced him out anyway and go for a spore here, making Magmortar not as threatening as it became because I don't have a switching for Magmortar at this point. I need to sack something and Fire Blast is the way to go and smack, and there goes the Shinotic, and that's, that's on me. As um, my only switch in here is Girder. Um, Girder is specially defensive but aren't offensive, so I really can't do it kill this Pokemon with any other way than Drain Punch, then Mock Punch. As he goes for his C Focus Blast, so I was both good or happy and sad at the same time. I was happy that it was Focus Blast, at the same time I was, you know, kind of sad because I realized this could very well take me out depending on his set. Uh, very glad it wasn't Inferno Overdrive, and I mean that since I actually am able to cling on kind of kind of alright as a Drain Punch will, as stated, not take him out, but the residual from the Mag Punch will ensure the KO, and you know, I'm still in a spot where I think I can survive the matchup against um, um, Farfetch if I need to, I'm a bit unsure whether or not I can pull that off, as he brings in Flip, the Sea Waddle, and I'm not going to take any risks here, um, my e best switch in here is depending on if it goes for a knockoff or whatnot to bring in Ashenik, my Togedomaru, as um, he, luckily for me I should say he goes for a Leaf Blade, so that's definitely the less of the worst situation since we take that with fairly ease, uh, though I can't switch in Togedomaru versus this matchup again. Now he'll actually decide to sack off his Bernenstein, his Yersering, and we will be able to go for that cork screw. Um, I don't know what it's called. Let's find out. I mean, they're gonna have some kind of text here. Smack. Course crew crash, right? So not something else. Uh, probably the best thing happened to tomorrow was we got access to Iron Head. Course crew crash is kind of a result of that, though unfortunately, I think your string was well in range with the things that have anyway. Now my opponent here is going to bring in Shiding, which is the far fetch, and I basically need to survive this first impression and not be critted. As luckily for us, we do cling on without a crick. Sing Sap is able to take out the, of course, masterful Farfetch. And the last Pokemon here is, of course, the Sea Rattle, which we are outspeeding, and we will be able to win this game 2 0 in our favor. Which is, like, I'm not gonna lie, very lucky for us because this game could have turned really ugly, ugly, ugly had it gone for Stick Web in the early game. So yeah, as I said here, I was really happy with how the game turned out. I wouldn't mind had I lost this game, most certainly not. Consider that I think first impression was a really strong role, and I wouldn't necessarily have been able to survive a braver from Farfetch. I don't believe Magpunch was in range of taking it out. So yeah, I, I will say I was fairly lucky with the rolls. And at the same time, I think my opponent not going for early stick away really made the game easier for me to play. I think he was fearing the defog and I felt it was unnecessary until my defer was rid of it, but I think he had a hard time deciding how to lead off with the stick Weber to getting the game course matchup he wanted. And that was my strength of the game and that worked in my favor, but I won't necessarily say that I played the game better. I think my opponent played the game better than me and had a really strong maneuverability. I just was lucky to come out on top of this one and I definitely won't like say anything else about that i think i think it played a good game but not better than my opponent um so that's a boss thing of course for the battle and also if you guys have been following me here on the battle and of course on the twitter group and whatnot make sure to get back to me if you want to battle since i i'm out of that battle at the moment and i want to at least upload one wife belt per week i think that's my that's my goal at least i do want to stretch that to two but but at the moment i don't think it's possible but that's the goal i'm having so with that, thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game. And of course, join us next time for, you know, another battle, I guess. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.